Hello, I'm Dr. Heidi Horsley, Executive Director for the Open to Hope Foundation. I'm talking with Dr. Valerie Molasson, Clinical Director and Licensed Psychologist at Supporting Kids, the Center for Grieving Children and Their Families in Delaware. Our topic is, after the casseroles and fruit baskets are gone, supporting grieving families over the long haul. Valerie, society gives us a lot of ideas about how to support families in the days following a death, but we are less clear what to do next. Do families want more support or do they want to be left alone? Very good question, Heidi. You know, there are a lot of individual differences in what families find useful and helpful after a loss, but I can say to you we've heard many, many times over that families feel uh, isolated, abandoned, and alone in the months and years following a death. Um, after the rituals are gone, people aren't sure what to do. So can you give us some ideas for how to make an offer of support? Absolutely. I think one of the things to realize is typically early on in a loss, uh, people are uh, in need mostly of practical help with day-to-day -day tasks and issues that need to be handled. Someone sorting through the mail, making sure the power doesn't get turned off, the mm -hmm. bill gets paid that the children get school supplies when fall comes around, that uh, deadlines are met and so forth, laundry gets done, shopping gets done. So making very practical offers is important. The second part is really thinking about what am I in particular good at? In particular, if I make a mean apple pie, then I'm gonna offer to bring an apple pie by on Friday evening. And if the person says, please don't bring me a pie, I don't like pie, we're allergic to pie, then you know not to make that offer. But make something very specific, and, it's, and if it's something you're going to do more than once for someone, let's say you choose to do their laundry for a while, let them know, I'd like to come over once a week for the next three months or six months mm -hmm. and do your laundry if you'd, let, if you'd have me. I think I could be very good at that, and I hope it would take some burden off of you. Make it time-limited and specific, and people are much more likely to take you up on the offer. So what if the person doesn't take us up on the off offer? You know, it doesn't always mean that you're not going to be able to help in some way over time. Um, if, you, if you're told no once and you never ask again, you will never have an opportunity to help. So be ready to offer again and again in different ways until you find something that's going to be useful in the right time frame for the folks that you're trying to support. Mm -hmm. Valerie, thank you so much for your work and for giving us this valuable information on grief, loss, hope, and healing. We appreciate it. Me, thank you, Heidi. But now you're home and I shared has made us who we are now I see we come so far and though you're gone I understand 